everyone and welcome back to Michelle Reads and Blogs and in today's video we are opening the December Lux Library book. This book has the theme of Ex Libras and it is the first Lux Library book that is coming from their new collection which I think they're calling the Vault Collection. So these are going to be a set of older books that they are re-releasing into the Lux Library kind of theme or brand as, as we probably should say. They are going to always be separate books, they're going to be separate special editions to their monthly book subscription, but similar to a lot of other book boxes you will have to buy or be a member of the subscription to then be able to access the books from the vault or to have like first dibs on on those books. So this is the only one that we are expecting to get in a monthly sub box, the rest will be additional special editions to buy. So I think it's going to be very interesting to see what comes out of these books in the future. But for now, let's have a look at what we've got in our Ex Libras box. Okay, so I am into the box. Let's open it up. And as normal, we've got some additional packaging to help keep our books safe. My book last month was damaged on the corner and I sent pictures of it to the Lot Library and they sent me a new edition of the book out like really quickly. So that was really good of them. I was really happy with the customer service there. So I don't know if it's because they wrap them before they box them but you can even see like the the corner paper is ripped there so hopefully this one's okay I'm sure it will be but I love I love how nicely packaged these are it does feel like you're buying yourself a little gift every time wow so we knew that we were expecting an edition of Babel by R.F. Kwong I knew it was going to be special, but wow, it has no dust jacket. How? Wow. <laughs> it's just so different. So we've got the printing straight onto the hardcover. We've got this window design with the gold foiling around the window and the book name, Babel, and then silver foiling in this kind of edge floral design here. Not really sure if that is. Yeah, it's floral. <laughs> um, and in the author name for RF Kwong there as well. And then you can see through the window there. I'm assuming that's Oxford and the river. And then, yeah, I'm going to be honest. I've only been to Oxford like twice in my life. So <laughs> it's not an area I really know well in the UK. But yeah, that is stunning. On the side, they did say this is going to be the first edition like the edges that all match i have not worded that very well at all so all of the edges on the subscription box they all match with the key and so that they can line up together and they look quite coherent and these are all going to be very similar as well so i assume that this maybe is going to be on all of their kind of vault books that they're bringing out their past editions so that'll be interesting to see how they line up and then on the back, we've got different silver foiling at the front. Similar theme, but got some extra birds here. And then they come in. Robin leaned back on his elbows, turning his gaze to the city. Professor Lovell was right, he thought. This was the loveliest place on earth. Yeah, we do have a barcode on the bottom there. Do we have those on the normal Lux Library books? It kind of ruins it a little bit, but there we go. We have got printed sprayed edge that has so much detail to it so yeah I'm sure this is this place in Oxford I wish I knew what it was called I really don't and then you've got a door at the bottom with a couple of scholars there you've got a solid black sprayed edge top and bottom and what I love about this I love that all locked library books have ribbon bookmarks this one is specific to the book. Let me pull it out, even though it's kind of going to ruin it. And on there. Oh, it's not specific to the book, but you've got the locked library key on the ribbon bookmark. So that, I just think it's a nice extra touch. It's something that we don't get in standard editions of books. I think that's stunning. So end pages. So again, we've got kind of the Oxford 
or old Oxford kind of skyline and the buildings there, the river. And we can see we've got Ex Libra's The Locked Library Archive. So maybe again, they're going to be doing this on all of their editions. The back, is that the same as the front? I really didn't look in as much detail as I should have, yeah. So the back is exactly the same as the front there. I think we have a bound in author letter as usual. So that is very nice. And we have, it's a nice page there with the art from the front. I thought we were meant to have a digital signature on this one. Obviously not that digital signatures are the end of the world, but there's no digital signature here. So maybe they changed their minds on that one, or maybe it's the one on the bottom of the letter that they're using as the digital signature. Inside, you've got a map, City of Oxford. I'm pretty sure this is the same as the standard edition, as is the map of Babel. So I think that's all of our customizations to share. What I would say is it's very different to the standard edition and I've got the Illumicrate edition as well, not the Fairy Loot, although the Fairy Loot is stunning. So this is the standard edition here. And yeah, looking inside, you can tell there is no end pages, obviously no ribbon bookmark. Uh, yeah, same map of Oxford and same map of Babel. So let's have a look at the synopsis of this one for anyone who's not sure. Where's the synopsis? Because there's no dust um, cover, dust jacket. Have we not got a synopsis? That's really strange. Wow. So because it's this edition, there's no, there's no synopsis. I'm not missing a dust jacket, am I? Let me just double check online. <laughs> no, it does not say anything about there being a dust jacket. It just says redesigned, printed on the cover. So to read the synopsis, it's a good job I've got my other edition out. <laughs> so I can read it you from here. So Oxford, 1836, the city of dreaming spires. It is the centre of all knowledge and progress in the world. And at its heart is Babel, Oxford University's prestigious Royal Institute of Translation, the tower from which all the power of the empire flows. Orphaned in Canton and brought to England by a mysterious guardian, Robin Swift thought Babel a paradise until it became a prison. But can a student stand against an empire? This book, this is on my 24 to read in 2024. I did talk about this in that video. I took this on holiday to Wales with me last summer and it's really, I have big book fear. It's, it, it's not you, it's me. <laughs> I have huge big book fear. I only got into fantasy at the beginning of last year. So I've only been really fantasy really for like a year, maybe just over. And this is over 500 pages, which when you've got big book fear is a lot of pages. And I know I just need to get into it and read, you know, like a few pages a day or something and it'll be fine. And I do really want to read the book. It sounds so good. And I love Yellow Face by R.F. Kwong. I think she is a really good writer. I've been told really good things about this. I've also been told maybe by other people that it's not so good. Maybe that's what's putting me off. But I really do want to give it a go for myself. Let me show you the Illumicrate version whilst we are here because this is stunning. Just absolutely stunning. It is in a slipcase with Babel printed onto the slipcase. And then this is the edge of the book. And then you have this kind of the outside of Babel on the front and the inside on the back. I don't know how well you could see that with it being shiny. And then the sprayed edge, an act of translation is always an act of betrayal. And this is just, just stunning. Just absolutely beautiful. So now I have three copies of a book 
that I've never read. And honestly, it makes me feel a little bit funny because what? why? Why do you have three copies of a book you've never read, Michelle? Um, I judge myself here. I absolutely judge myself. So I need to read this this year. If I don't, I seriously need to question as much as my life choices but yeah I need to question do I need three copies if I'm gonna keep putting off reading it so that's me that's everything I've got to say today let me know what you think about this edition down in the comments if you're a subscriber to the locked library are you happy with this are you happy getting an edition of an older book I'm happy with it just because it's so different to everything we've had. And I am interested to see what the Lock Library do moving forward. Anyway, this wasn't what I was asking. I was asking, what do you think about this? So what do you think about the book? Are you happy with it? Do you think it was a good move on their part to go for a past popular book? Or do you think that they should stick with new books let me know down in the comments other than that if you want to get your hands on a copy of babel i will put an affiliate link down in the description for the standard copy of the book if you purchase through one of my affiliate links it means that you don't pay any extra i get a small commission on the sale though which helps me and the channel out i'll also link the locked library that's not affiliate i don't work with the locked library i'm not a rep or anything um it's just in case you want to have a look at them in more detail maybe join up yourselves it's up to you anyway i am babbling so i will say thank you so much for watching if you liked the video please remember to hit like if you're not subscribed and you want to see more from me subscribe to the channel and i will see you all next time bye